Hey guys, what's going on? Scrappy here, and today we have another double battle. This was on the rating battle system. This was um, against a pretty standard team for the most part. I haven't seen that much of Ninetales, though, and I was wondering how Ninetales and Greninja would work together. And I knew that if he set up the sun, my Rotom, he could probably do pretty well of walling out both of those Pokemon because... Uh, water will be weakened by the sun, and I'll be able to take fire hits from Ninetales. So let's get straight into this match. Alright, so I'm going with my regular lead with Scrapped and Trevenant, and i um, actually excited for the June International that is starting in a few hours actually so I'm gonna have lots of good battles from this anyways I get my intimidated off with my Scrafty on both of his physical attackers which is really nice so now I know I can take a Brave Bird he's actually gonna protect first turn so I actually don't get any um, fake out damage off on his Pokemon but that's fine because that's just a free trick room for me so oh well now I got my trick room up without any damage now the Brave Bird's obviously gonna go off this one was actually targeted onto, um, onto Scrafty, taking me below half, as we see. And, um, I get the Shadow Claw off onto the, um, onto the Town Flame. I get the Ice Punch off onto the Garchomp, but without that extra chip damage, I'm not going to be able to take it out now. There's a rough skin, and he goes for the Earthquake, which is going to deal, um, some damage to my Trevenant, but is actually going to take my Scrafty out, so... I'm already down one Pokemon, three, four, and this is not looking good. I, I, I see the life orb, so I know next turn he's going down, so I can bring in my wall while here. And all I'm going to do is just rock slide, um, rock slide, and hopefully take out that Talon Flame. So I'm going to Mega Evolve it, give, there's no reason really not to. And... Is actually protect from town plan, which is really unfortunate. So now what they're doing is they're stalling out my trick room, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's the good play for my opponent. I go for the will wisp onto Cartoon because I'm thinking that there's actually going to be switch, but he goes through the double protect and he gets it unfortunately. And Thompson's going to brave bird my Trevenant. That is going to bring me down to the red, but I'm going to eat my citrus. Um, Tom Flame's taking some big recoil damage. Enough to where, um, if the rock side lands, it's obviously going to be a KO. So the rock side lands onto the Tom Flame, taking it out, but since the Garchomp got the second protect, he's going to survive the next turn. So in comes the nine tails, and this is where it gets a bit tricky. I am very scared of that nine tails because, as you see, it's going to destroy both my Pokemon. Actually, it's going to stall the Trick Room even further. I get the Rock Side um, off, which is going to take out the Garchomp this turn. So now my opponent only has two Pokemon left, and I have three. So if we do simple math. I should be in the better position, but the game is not over yet, so the Trick Room actually ends, and since the sun is up, my, uh, my Harvest will activate every turn that the sun is up, so that's really good. In comes Greninja, and I'm scared of this thing, it could have Dark Falls, it could have Ice Beam, so I'm going to bring my Rotom Heat now, and I'm going to protect my Terminant just so I can survive the next turn hopefully. There's actually a mat block and I'm thinking that the nasty plot is going to follow. But the nine tails actually just goes for the heat wave. Since I protected with my Trevenant, we see that that heat wave does absolutely nothing to my Rodom. I harvest another berry because of the sunny day. I hope for the double protect, protect but I don't get it. The ice beam goes off onto Trevenant obviously. Um, it's going to do some huge damage, actually taking it out, which is unfortunate, but what can you do? 
goes uh, goes for the flamethrower onto my Rotom Heat, not doing a lot of damage. I get the Thunderbolt off onto the Ninetales because I'm more concerned about taking it out right now. As you see, it's not doing that much. And I bring in my Mawile. And all I'm going to do is just hopefully Sucker Punch for the KO, but we see it fails. I was thinking a Willow Will Wisp might happen. Uh, Greninja goes for the Ice Beam onto Mawile, not doing a lot, but actually goes for the nasty plot. So. And that's really unfortunate. Here we go for the Thunderbolt onto Greninja, which isn't even going to take it down to Sash. So, I don't know if it has Sash or not, but we'll never know. So, there's a Sucker Punch into, into Ninetales Protect, which is unfortunate. And then, and then there is Surf from Greninja. Since there is the Sunny Day, it's not doing a lot. And I actually go for the Thunderbolt onto Greninja, taking it out. So now that I know, now I know that even if the Nine Tails wants to go for the nasty plot, the Thunderbolt's gonna take it out. So I won. The sunlight actually fades. So all I can go for right now is the Sucker Punch to pick up the KO off the Nine Tails, which is really nice. So that was a really fun match. It was it was really scary, and it came down right to the wire. So good game, and thanks for watching.